This conference will now be recorded. Well, it is day four. Good morning and greetings to you. You have made it to day four and what a wonderful time we have had so far sharing as we have set the foundation, laying down the content, the theory, the platform, making it clear the approach that we are taking in, in this campaign, this masterclass series. So welcome to day four of 30 days to greater self love. I am coach TJ Teddy A. Jones, NLP master practitioner, life coach, that's neuro linguistic programming. And it is a real thrill for me to facilitate these series with you. The specific activity for day four will be outlined to you. I'm going to share a few more uh, 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 facilitative material and then indicate exactly what the activity for today is. So here we go. Uh, well, yeah, so <laughs> welcome to day four. You are doing great. You are doing fantastic. I am so excited for the way that you are focused and, 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 and persistent and sticking with the process thus far, as you committed to. So remember we indicated why 30 days, why I chose 30 days as opposed to any other number. 30 days is enough time to increase your ability to love yourself, just as it is enough to learn the piano uh, or the basics or, or any of any other skill. 30 days is the time that it is recognized by researchers that it takes to learn a new habit, to develop a new habit. In 30 days, you can and you will discover how wonderful you are. Let me remind you of the repo formula acronym that I shared with you from Boss of the Movement Coach Al, Al Hollingsworth, repo, repetition, easy, pleasure, often, habit. That which you repeat often enough, it becomes easy. When it becomes easy, it becomes pleasurable. You find pleasure in it, you enjoy it. And when you enjoy, begin to enjoy doing something, you are naturally going to want to do it often and do it often. And that which you do often enough, becomes a habit and so as you go through the activities and you practice them every day it will become a habit of yours to love yourself to the max as you really ought to what am i inviting you to do specific more specifically now over the ensuing days i'm inviting you to decide that you will focus on you you can also begin to learn how to treat yourself well and put yourself on the road to self-improvement. But the kind of self-improvement that we are focusing on here has nothing to do with gaining the kind of things that society values. You spent two days, two evenings, days, two and three debunking those societal norms, those societal measuring sticks. We're not talking about self-improvement to mean gaining those things. It is about becoming the type of person that you most admire. Because you now have a clear view, a clear perspective, a clear understanding of what really matters and who you really are as made the image of God and absolutely loved by God. Many of the things that we will be asking you to do in the coming days are things that can be done daily. So it is important to create habits of these items and activities. That's the whole point of sharing with you the repo formula repeatedly until it becomes easy. 
until you find pleasure in doing it so that you do it often and it becomes a habit. Self-love is largely the result of your habits. So the right habits will create the outcome that you are looking for, increased self-love. That's what we are driving at. And so we have, we have designed a series of activities that as you actively engage with them and really focus on doing them in a, a, a kind of way that will produce the desired outcome, you will develop the habit of loving yourself more. Some of those items aren't practical to do every day unless you are a retired individual. So for those, I want you to think of them as weekly or perhaps monthly activities. But the key is to repeat them as often as you can and do it consistently. All right? So you will have to decide based on your, based on your schedule as I introduce each of the activities for, the given, for a given day, you will have to decide whether this is something, having done it for that day, starting it, you will then decide whether this is something that your schedule allows you to practically and meaningfully do on a weekly basis or a monthly basis. If you can, realistically and reasonably do it on a daily basis, well, absolutely great, go right ahead and do it. So, I want to ask you to set your intention. Why am I asking you to set your intention? You know, if you know, those of you who know me very well would perhaps realize that I talk a lot about and focus a lot on intentionality, being intentional. For it is much easier to accomplish something when you have an intention. If you are at work currently, or you are out in the, in the city, wherever you are, you got there because you intended to get there. You didn't just poof and appear there. You intended to get there, and that's why you are there right now. So I want to ask you to ensure that you avoid wasting the 30 days. Decide that you are going to work on your self-love and self-esteem for a month. We've already, we already asked for some commitments on day one. And just in case, in case you're, you're jumping in, getting onto the campaign today, again, it is important that you commit, make a commitment not to waste the, 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 the sessions, not to waste the 30 days, but intend, set your intention to work on your self-love and self-esteem. Be determined, therefore, to give the next month your best effort it is challenging to change your daily routine and you have much to accomplish. We don't like change as human beings. I mentioned, I think, on day two that many people remain where they are even though they know that it is far from ideal simply because they do not want to put in the work that is necessary to move from where they are to where they need to be. So be determined that you are going to give the next 30 days your best effort, despite the challenge that it will pose to change up your daily routine. Your intention and determination are paramount to your success on this campaign. Your intention and your determination, critical to your success on this campaign. I would say if you are not prepared to be intentional, if you are not prepared to be determined to focus on, uh, on, on making the most of these 30 days, then might as well you just hop out from now. Straight up, real talk, plain and straight. Set your intention. So for today, day four, it's all about awareness. The activity for today, the focus is to help you to develop the habit of becoming aware. Become aware. What, 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 is, what, what is that about? 
So it, it is difficult to make progress without understanding where you are currently. Think about it. It is difficult to make progress, to move ahead, if you don't understand clearly where you are currently. And that's why the activity from day two invited you to begin to look inward and ask yourself the hard question, what have I been using to determine my self-love up until now? Begin, so for awareness, I'm asking you to specifically begin noticing the way you treat yourself. Start with that and then contrast that with how you treat your friends and family. Awareness. How do you treat yourself? And contrast that with how you treat friends and family. So awareness, be, become aware of where you are. And I'm asking you to begin by noticing the way you treat yourself and contrast that with how you treat friends and family. You see, most of us are more patient and understanding and tolerant of others than we are of ourselves. In fact, most of us treat complete strangers better than we treat ourselves. Again, this requires you to be brutally honest with yourself. Notice your tendencies regarding how you treat yourself. Awareness. Notice how you treat yourself. Regarding, notice the tendencies, sorry, regarding how you treat yourself. So I'm inviting you to pay particular attention to the following areas which will increase your awareness, remember? But today it is just about building awareness. So pay attention to the tendencies, the patterns regarding how you treat yourself. And here are some areas to help you to really drill down and pay attention. Now, of course, you need to be making a note of this, writing these areas down, because these are the things that I want you to reflect on and actually write down so that you become more aware. You're starting today to develop the habit of being aware. And you're going to do this today and then look, practice to do this every day. Being aware of how you are treating yourself. The first area is self-talk. How do you talk to yourself? What do you say to yourself typically? What are the stories that you tell yourself? Are they filled with negatives? I can't. I am not. Are there, are there more negative stories in your self-talk? To pay attention to that. Then examine how you feel when you have made a mistake versus how you feel when someone else makes a mistake. In other words, how, how much grace are you in the habit of extending to yourself when you make a mistake compared to when someone else makes a mistake? Awareness is what we are striving after today. Three, does the way you treat yourself encourage you to be your best? Again, only you, you best can answer that question. Others may notice and may be able to, to, to tell you, but you need to come to that place of self-awareness. So for today, it is about becoming more aware. 
does the way you treat yourself encourage you to be your best? Or do you treat yourself as if you are important and worthy of respect? Think about it and write down the answer. Write down the answers. You might need to, to, to do more than a yes or a no. You may need to actually write out a sentence or some sentences in response to this. Do you habitually, what is the tendency? Do you treat yourself as if you are important and worthy of respect? Next, are the ways you think and act towards yourself habitual? In other words, these things that you have, we have, we have, we have asked you to explore about yourself, have they become a habit? In other words, do you habitually engage in negative self-talk? Do you habitually beat yourself into the ground when you make a mistake? Are they habitual? Think about it. Write it down. So, spend the next 30 days with a greater level of awareness regarding your attitude and behavior towards yourself. You're gonna start this today, but develop the habit of making a, an, an acute awareness regarding how you treat yourself. And I've given you, given you some areas to reflect on, self talk how you respond to yourself when you make mistakes, uh, whether you are treating yourself as important and worthy of respect, whether you treat yourself in a way, in a manner that encourages you to be your best. Use these to reflect daily so that you develop the habit over the next 30 days of increasing your level of awareness regarding your attitude and behavior towards yourself. Remember, yesterday on day three, we ended by saying that the keys to loving yourself are to know yourself. Know yourself, awareness. So we are giving you now the practical stuff. To know yourself, you need to develop your awareness. and to be on a path to become a person that you respect. See, I asked you to, to, to reflect on your awareness of whether you are treating yourself with respect, a person that you respect. You are already amazing. Realizing that is half of the battle that is already won. The other part is to see regular improvements. So as you develop your, an acute sense of awareness and you practice that to make it a habit, you should begin to see improvement, which will boost your happiness because we are happy when we are making progress. All right? So what are you to do today exactly? You have to spend some time with you today. Reflect on the questions and write down your responses. Each day going forward, be mindful, be in a mindful state, be in a conscious state, be aware of how you are treating yourself. You can use the ones that I've given you, the questions, as a guide. So I wish you an awesome time of self discovery as you reflect on increasing your awareness of how you treat yourself. This is the activity for day four, and I look forward to getting some feedback from you on what you have discovered. 30 Days to Greater Self-Love. This is Coach TJ wishing you a tremendous day four. God bless you, and see you, hear from you soon.